Hello everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. As you can see, uh, that thing to the left was flipping out for a second there. But, uh, I've got an almagation. That's not a word, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. But, uh, just a crap ton of animals all around for reasons I don't understand. They're just chilling out, enjoying life. They look so interesting, though. Look at them. What's that big one over there? The heck is that guy? That thing is big. Hey. Hey, you. Can I make you my friend? Life support. Dang it, life support. What are you doing? Like, gyrating, strangely? Hey, buddy. Can I feed you? Can you be fed? You're making, like, whale noises. It's not giving me a prompt to feed him. I like this guy, though. He looks pretty awesome. He's got, like, a shell on his back. Yeah, I can't interact with him, though. All right, well, we're going to have to up life support again here in a second. Let's go to the outpost. I think that's what I said we were going to do today. We're about five minutes out. That's not too bad. Just going to leave the ship where it is for the time being. I don't know if it's better to, like, try and fly the ship on over there or what, but I want to do a lot of the exploring with uh, groundwork rather than flying in the ship. Plus, this makes it where we can grab stuff on the way to the ship. wonder what happens if I try and kill some of the animals. Uh, I'm recording this as the uh, videos from the last session are going live, actually. I believe two parts are already up. Uh, haven't been up for very long, but they are up. And the other two parts should be going up while I'm recording this. So, let's get some plutonium. From what I can gather, it seems like it's always good to pick up plutonium, because it's uh, a really good power source from what I've seen. I also know we need thamium for the uh, our warp speed or whatever it's called. I've forgotten the name already. I'm sure I'll memorize it over time. I don't know why, but I saw that animal and thought of 626 from Lilo and Stitch. I loved that show. I still don't know what to do about... Uh, about... Is this, is this just flora? I thought there was no flora on this planet. Maybe there's a very small amount. But anyways, uh, that's another cool animal up there. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, I still don't know what to do about how much space we have in our ship. That's not good. Hopefully I can just recharge that. Journey milestone, what I hit? Look at these bugs. Wait, what do I have to feed you? I've traveled a certain amount of distance. Heridium, I'll feed you some heridium. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah, 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 friends. This is one weird looking insect, but I like it. I'm going to mess around with the life support real quick before we get too low. I do need to get Thamium. I have some right now, so I can uh, charge it. It's in my exosuit, right? Yeah, I've got a little more to charge it. That's good. What is that called again? The pulse engine? What is it? Uh, is it called pulse jumps? I don't know. Whatever. Starship is out of range, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here. I need to mess around with life support. I need to charge it. We're going to use plutonium, as we always do when charging. There we go. And then Hazard Protection needs to be charged. Uh, I'm just going to let Hazard Protection get a little lower, and then I'll use the shielding thing. I don't know how much it recovers. We're going to get to that question mark, and then go from there to the outpost. So there's very little fauna, or not fauna, there's very little flora on this planet, but there is a good amount of fauna, as we can tell from all of the animals around. What's this down here? Intriguing. So I have looked up the game a little bit. I wanted to do the first hour like completely blind, so that's what I did. But I looked into the game just a bit to figure out some stuff that I did not yet know before getting back into the second session. Uh, multiplayer, like meeting up with people, is something that is probably never going to happen. The game developers said that they don't want it to be like that. If you want to play a multiplayer game in space, play Destiny or something, and I don't like Destiny personally, so that's not going to happen. Which is a little unfortunate. I would have loved to have gotten up with some of my friends and explored planets together, but, you know, can't have everything. I don't know what interacting with that just did. Oh, my toxin level drops. Oh, that's useful. But anyways, so that kind of sucks, but doesn't really make the game any better or worse, honestly. It's still an amazing game so far. What are you? Hello there. Uh, bypass chip. I've got one of those. Don't I? I thought I had one. It might be back in the ship. Maybe I don't have one. I can never tell what I do and don't have. Could have sworn I had gotten a bypass chip already, but whatever. 
There's the, uh, what is this? Is this just iron? Yeah. Let's grab some iron. Why not? Just a little bit, because it's been a while since we've gotten some. Got to make sure I keep it on hand. I need to figure out a way to get more storage space. But anyways, yeah, so no multiplayer stuff, unfortunately. At least not the kind that I wanted. But whatever. Game will just stay a single player, then. There's a question mark right next to the outpost. That's kind of good. Down this hill we go. Uh, that's about all I really looked into regarding the game. Uh, I didn't look up stuff like how to deal with the animals. I probably should have done that. I don't know what kind of goals there are. I know you're supposed to, like, get to the center of the universe or something. But I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. I also know that, uh, how do I pull up the HUD? Like that. Radio signal detected, find source of life signs. The game said earlier we needed to figure out how to get a hyperdrive. So we gotta do that. Is this the... This is... Whoa! 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 Do I have to fight you? I'll fight you. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, dang it, my inventory is full. Yeah, the inventory being full is becoming a recurring problem. I'm gonna use this up. So I have a little more space there. And then I think I had one I have one slot in the starship. So let's send back the Corvax thing. Yeah. So I got two spaces right now. There's gotta be a way to be able to store more items. I don't know what it is, but I hope to find out. Apparently, something else that they're doing with this game is they are planning on updating it more and uh, adding more stuff to it. So, that'll be cool. I look forward to whatever updates we may receive for this game. Go ahead and reload the bolt caster here. I'm interested in what they'll add. They said they were going to do stuff like being able to build your own bases and stuff like that. That'd be fun. Alright, here's the outpost. This looks just like the other thing I found on the other planet. Was that an outpost as well? I assume it was. Thamium? Always want to get Thamium. Every time you see Thamium, get it, because I need it for the ship. Maru Julik Swamp. Does it always rain on this acid rain planet? Hello there. Let me just activate you really fast. I still haven't fixed the timer on my PlayStation. Need to do that. What do we got here? Hoping for, like, some Thamium. Plutonium's good, too. Guess it's all Plutonium. That's fine. Alright, let's get in here, then. Hey there! Nice to meet you. Exporter Urshi. Urshay, however you pronounce it. Yep, words I can't understand. Definitely a different language. A lone creature awaits me, diminutive, beaked, unthreatening. It regards me with passing curiosity, chatters briefly in a language I cannot comprehend, then passes me a slate. With the start, I realize I can understand the text on it. In disbelief, I try to catch the creature's eye, but is already turned away in disinterest. I suspect it is a mere courier and not the author of this message. The slate also contains a blueprint for a new technology, a hyperdrive. Yes. Gimme. Gimme. Keep forgetting to hold stuff. Instruction on how to build my own path through the stars. This will be invaluable. The squat being busies itself at the terminal. I couldn't read fast enough. Hyperdrive. I need a dynamic resonator and a lot of heridium, which I already have. Craft products and inventory slots. Okay. Cool. You need 20... I'll give you 20 carbon if I... Oh, no, wait. I don't have it. These guys always want carbon, and I never have carbon. I have some in the thing. I want to... Oh, dang it. The starship is out of range. Crud. Alright, let's go back to the starship and bring it over here. Where's the starship at? Oh, way over there in the distance. About five minutes out. It's not too bad. There are sentinels. It said that there were a low amount of sentinels here. We've done another milestone. Met two aliens. Cool. Alright, so let's go get the starship and bring it back over here. And I want to get, uh... Objective complete. Oh, I got the hyperdrive technology. I just have to build it and then fuel it. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to... Yeah, we're, what's that right there? A little cave there? What's happening there? But yeah, we're gonna go and get the ship, bring it over here, give this guy carbon, and see what happens when I give him carbon, because I'm curious as to what will occur. Make it. 
Whew. Oh, this is what was glowing. Carbon. Space station detected. Above me? Of course it would be above me. It's a space station. Or is it right there? Is it on the planet? Off-planet space station. Oh, it's straight that way, but it's off-planet. It's out of the atmosphere. Okay. So obviously going to a space station is going to be our next main thing to go for, as well as building the hyperdrive. So we have both of those things to do. Drop pod. I guess we can hit the drop pod up on the way back to our ship. Where's our ship's logo? Oh, down that way. Still a good distance. Some in my throat. Let's hit up this drop pod, then we'll go back to the ship. We're going to fly the ship over to the outpost, give that guy carbon and see what happens, and then we're going to make the hyperdrive, or get to work on making it at least. Look at this little guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Oh, you're you're mean. You're really mean. Well, now you have to die. Don't touch me. Whew, I killed it. It gave me iron, really? I wanted to be your friend. Uh, I'm leaving. Don't mind me, you stupid sentinel. Phone, don't make noises at me. I forgot to mute you. Wonder if I can see the space station from here on the planet. Probably not. It's really cloudy because of all the acid rain. Can't really see anything out in the distance. There are some ships flying around. Alright, but the drop ship is right there. Almost there. Or drop pod. Whatever. Back at the desert. I wonder... Words. I wonder... Oh no, this is just the place that I found earlier. Yeah, well I can save. Okay. I didn't know that that's what that was. Now I do. Game, like, stuttered for a second there. A beacon? Oh, that's the beacon that I first found here. Yeah, okay. Cool, so the ship isn't far off. Let's get back to the ship. I'm going to fly it over to that guy. Toxic protection will be all right once we get back to the ship. Probably. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's a lot of fun. It's really like uh, like a casual game, I feel. Just kind of a sit back, relax, enjoy yourself kind of deal. I'm definitely enjoying it so far. It's not the usual kind of game I play. But it is fun. I love this kind of exploration. It's great getting to go out and discover things and learn about stuff. More Thamium, good. Life support, I'll deal with you later. I'm trying to get back to the ship right now. I'll give you some plutonium at some point. Don't worry. Wonder if there's a way I can, like, get running shoes or something to, like, run faster. Could get over there to discover a new location. I'm not really worried about that right now. Focus on the objectives the game is giving me for the time being. I also need to look and see what I need to create the hyperdrive shenanigans. Need to get that done. That way we can leave the star system. And explore even further. I should probably, like, drop by every single planet I come across so that it'll say I discovered it. The more worlds that say discovered by Chaos in the Sky. Or, no, it'll use my gamer tag. It'll say discovered by Scrub King even better. Need to make sure I do that. Here we are. I wonder if I can, like, edit my ship and make it look how I want. That'd be cool. Alright, we're here. Let's see. Pulse engine needs to be recharged. I'm gonna put all of the thamium I can into it. There we go. Much better. Uh, we do need a little plutonium in here. Let's go ahead and charge this back up. Very nice. Photon cannon. Highly destructive weapon that facilitates rapid ship-to-ship -ship destruction. Press X to activate. It's not letting me activate it. Whatever. Worry about that later. Deflector shield. That's cool. Alright. So I need to make... A... Can make a bypass chip, actually. Gotta remember that. Maybe when I thought I got a bypass chip before, it was actually like schematics on how to make them myself. Alright. How do I... 
probably need to make it in this. No. Where's the thing that lets me make the hyperdrive? 